What? No, I, 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 I love the fact that you despise all of my friends. That's great. No, cl- clingy? No, no, you're not clingy. I, I like feeling your breath on the back of my neck every time I'm around. I, I do. I really do. The Top, broadcasting live to at least three people on Spreaker.com. Thank you for calling the Attention Deficit Hyperactive Disorder Hotline. If you have ADHD, please press 1. So you do have ADHD. Is this correct? Please press 1. Now that we know the... Now that we know the... It is only necessary to make your selection... It has been established you do have ADHD. Please... Okay, dude, seriously, if you want help, you're going to have to stop playing with a keypad. Oh, look, it's a shiny ball with bells on it. Thank you for calling the Attention Deficit Hyperactive Disorder Hotline. Take it from the top. Mr. Pop. Dorks of the world unite. No, okay, listen closely. It's not Woba, it's Waba. Take it from the top. Mr. This is the Chris Top Program, broadcasting worldwide to at least three people. And I am the one and only Chris Top, broadcasting live from my lavish studio apartment here in sunny Clarksville, Tennessee, with an ocean view. So, how the hell are you, world? It's good to see you. It's good to be here. I... I have some things I want to talk about. And I know I start the show off like that a lot. And it's obvious that I have things to talk about when I start the show like that. Uh, Before I get too far into the show, I (laughs) haven't been myself today. I don't know. I I, I was really busy yesterday, like super busy. And it was a day off. And today's a day off as well. And I'm kind of glad it was because I've pretty much done nothing but laid around and slept. It's nuts. I was going to go for a swim. I was thinking about it. It's it's nice out, but it's it's almost kind of cool for this time of the year. It's like 76 degrees. It's supposed to get down to 52 tonight. 52 degrees in in Tennessee in August. That's crazy stuff. It's that damn global warming and cooling and it's that climate change and stuff. You have to be careful with it. Uh one of the things I did yesterday I've been putting this off. I took Abby to get her spayed. Uh, Just because. uh, She gets creepy uh, around that that time of the month. She gets kind of creepy. And I I figured it was about time. Because I've had her for a couple of years now. And when I adopted her from the pound, I got these little vouchers that that I paid for at the time. And uh, it was like $50 toward having Abby spayed. And then I got uh, $30 toward a rabies shot and stuff like that. And I... I didn't realize they expired after six months. I didn't, I didn't think they would expire, so I had to pay for the whole thing. It's expensive having a cat. It really is. She, she costs me so much money all the time. Uh, but I do love her. And you should have seen her yesterday. She looked so pitiful because I, I brought her home, and, and she, she was trying to walk, but she would fall down. She, just, she would stand up, and then she'd fall back down. I felt, I felt really bad. For Abby, I did. I, I can I can tell she's in pain, and she's she's okay today. She tried to play a little bit, but she's mainly just kind of sleeping. And and maybe that's what it is. Maybe that's what was wrong with me. Maybe I'm so in tune with my cat that I just I promise I promise I'm not crazy cat guy. I only have one cat, and I I don't know. I just I I worry about her. I mean she's she's not attacking me or anything. She she likes to attack me when I do my broadcast, but now she's just laying here. But well, this is this is day 2 uh from the surgery, and I didn't know it was like a 2 week recovery deal. Uh because the this is what the vet said. He said, "All right, look. You know, she can't she can't jump on things for 2 weeks." I'm like, "What, dude? She's a she's a cat." It, she 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 likes to jump on things. He said, if you can tell if she wants to get up in a chair or on the couch or something, just pick her up and put her on there. Really? Abby, don't go for that. If I pick her up and put her on the couch, then she wants down. Had she went up there herself, that would be different. She'd she'd be cool chilling for a while. So I I don't know. Uh, But for now, she's she's relaxing. So I I guess I'm good. But I do. I worry about Abby. 
Uh, <laughs> I'd like to welcome uh, Live to Chat Radio uh, to the program today. Today we're going to talk about relationships. Specifically, I'll tell you what, specifically, we're going to talk about annoying girlfriends. I mean, guys, have you ever been in a situation where you just have that annoying girlfriend that didn't know when to let up? Well, that's, that's the topic today. And I don't know, maybe she changed, maybe she didn't. Maybe, maybe, she got, maybe you got stuck with her. I, maybe you married her, God forbid. All right, okay, but this is what we're going to talk about today. Uh, some annoying girlfriend habits. And see, girls take notes. And I'm not saying that I know everything. I, I don't, far from it. But I do know when people are being annoying, and I'm a dude. So, I mean, there's probably other dudes like me that feel the same way. So, uh, we'll go over. I'm not trying to hurt anybody's feelings. Really, I'm not, I'm not trying to make anybody feel bad. I, I'm just, I'm telling it like it is. That's all I'm doing. I'm telling it like it is. Now, one of the things that drive guys up the wall, and this is, this is the honest to God truth, okay? I, I promise I'm not trying to ruffle any feathers. But it's when you talk about relationship issues with other people. There's nothing more awkward when, when you're a guy and, and you're sitting there with your girlfriend and say your girlfriend's mother. Oh, I, this Chris top, he drives me nuts. What, what, he just, he, he, he leaves the cap off of the toothpaste. He don't ever put the toilet seat down. He spends all of his time playing on the Xbox. He spends every second of the day playing on his Xbox. He doesn't ever give me any time. Or worse than that, worse than that, he'll, he'll post things on, or she'll post things on Facebook for the whole world to see. That Chris Top, he forgot about, he forgot about our two week anniversary. I thought he loved me, but he doesn't love, I don't know why I was using the, uh, <laughs> the creepy guy voice for the girl. I thought he loved me, but he doesn't love me. He forgot. <laughs> We met two weeks ago today, and he didn't say anything. He didn't bring it up. He didn't wish me happy two-week anniversary. <laughs> what have I gotten myself into? But I can't help it because I love him. That's so. Nobody needs to know about every little fight. See, some things are supposed to be kept personable, personal, personable. Whatever, whatever, however that is. But some things are supposed to be just between you guys, just between you two. You, everybody doesn't have to know. Your mom doesn't have, your sisters don't have, your friends don't have to know. Everybody on Facebook doesn't need to know that, that your boyfriend has been crappy. They just don't need to know. All right. Now, how about this? So, so, so we all know that guys do things. We, we like to play games sometimes. And I'm not talking about emotional games. I'm talking about games. Now, whether it's on Xbox or maybe it's an online game that you play on the computer. This is sort of the guy's happy time. This is when he likes to, to just escape and shoot things and kill things. I guarantee... If you, if you try to have a serious conversation while he's in the middle of blowing things up, he's, he's never going to hear a word that you say. And all it's going to do is hack you off because you're going to say you weren't listening, were you? you? You didn't listen to a word I said, did you? All you care about is that game. <laughs> Why don't you listen to me? Why don't you just give me a minute to talk to you? He's playing the game. He doesn't hear a word you're saying because that's his time to play his game. The only kind of response you're going to get is, uh, yeah. Mm-hmm. Yep. And, and all he wants you to do is just be quiet and let him finish blowing stuff up. And then maybe after he's done, then you can carry on a conversation. But just let him have this time. See, women might play games. Women play games for a different reason than guys do, or most of them do. A lot of women play for fun. No, see, see, guys don't play for fun. They play games to actually win. 
They play games because it gives them a chance to stroke their ego. And it's not really a relaxing time. It's, it's, it's more of an adrenaline rush. And guys need this. See, a hundred years ago, we would have picked up the gun and went out hunting. Now, could you imagine the guy picks up his, his bow and arrow. I'm going way far back, I know. The guy picks up his bow and arrow, and then, and then the chick follows him out the door and deep into the woods. The whole time, he's sitting there trying to, to kill a, a woolly mammoth with his bow and arrow. And, and, and you're right behind him, and you're saying, Hey, do you think my butt looks big? Do you, do you think my butt looks big in these jeans? See, you wouldn't have done that. And it, it wasn't that he was trying to kill the woolly mammoth just for food. I mean, it was a bit of an adrenaline rush as well. So you see, <laughs> you have to look at the Xbox and the games sort of in the same light. You really do. Now, now this, this is a big no-no. Okay, this this is a this is a we could break up over this kind of deal. This is something that you do not ever 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 do. And listen to me closely when I say this. All right, and if 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 you get up from you know you're both lying in bed, say so you get up from the foreplay, and you leave him with a TP. You leave him standing at attention. If, if you're not getting what I'm saying, you leave him with a hard on. That's something that you just do not ever do. And see, and then when, when the guy complains about having the blue balls, you just like you just brush it off. You're like, ah, oh, whatever. Whatever. That's just a stupid excuse because you want to have sex with me. You can't just ever cuddle, can you? You can't just ever like sit here and just hold me and and tell me that you love me. No, you can't do that. See, you don't really get blue ball. That doesn't really hurt. Don't ever do that to a guy. If you see that he's standing at attention, then you need to help him out. One way or another. You need to go you need to go all the way all the way to, to home run neighborhood, or you're, you're going to have to help him out some, somehow. <sighs> that kind of stuff drives, it, it drives guys nuts. It really does. Now, I do want to welcome everybody that's in the chat. I've got a few people in here. And I hope I'm not hacking any girls off today. It's just, I had to get this stuff off my chest. And, and I feel like, I feel like I'm, I'm, I'm doing... Uh, or I'm providing a service uh, just because a lot of girls, they just don't, they don't realize it. They don't know. So I'm trying to help out. And, uh, and guys, I got your back. I promise you I do. And, and if you agree with me, then let me know. And if you disagree, let me know that too. I think I'm right though. I really do. I'd like to welcome Live to Chat Radio to the chat. Uh, we also have Miriam in the chat. Miriam is actually a brand new listener. Now, Miriam, I have to explain something to you. When you step into the Chris Top program, what you're doing is you're telling the world that you are a dork. Now, if you're okay with stepping from the closet and embracing the light of your dorkhood, then you're in the right place. You really are. And you don't have to be a dork to listen, uh, but, it, but it does help, and it, it's nice to, to be around like-minded people. Now, if, if you're okay with being a dork, Miriam, let me say this. This is a challenge. You have to go to my Facebook page, and you have to post the dorkiest picture that you have of yourself. And if you can do that, then we'll go back and we'll make fun of you. I mean, we'll, we'll talk about it, uh, and we'll welcome you into the Dork Hall of Fame with other great dorks of the world. Uh, we also have Music Road Radio in the chat. It's good to see you. Uh, and so what do you guys think? I mean, can girls take it a little too far sometimes? Can they be just a little too annoying? Maybe a little too clingy sometimes? I mean, what makes a good, what makes a good girlfriend? And see, I know Mel, Mel's in the chat too. She's one of my friends from down under. She says, uh, that works both ways, Chris. And I know, I know it does. And I knew somebody would say that. 
Uh, but I, I'm just I'm looking at it from the guy's point of view today. Uh, and maybe tomorrow we'll do it from the girl's point of view. I don't know. Uh, but today it's, it's, it's from the guy's point of view. And I, I'm just I'm, I'm trying to get this off of my chest. And I'm just I'm trying to help my brothers out. Because, see, there, there's a bro code uh, that I have to follow. And I, I just want to make sure that uh, it, we're clear on that. I mean, I, I know it goes both ways. I do know that. And I'm, I'm okay with that. Uh, so, I mean, what do you think? What? I mean, you know, why do women do that? Why do women leave the bedroom with the guy standing at tension? I mean, is it, are they just getting back at him for something that he did? Was he a bad boy? And they just want to like, see, I'll show you. I'll show, I'm going to get you all hot and bothered. And I'm going to go in here and I'm going to make dinner. That's right. You can take care of yourself. You can finish yourself off. I'm going to go in here and I'm going to cook. Or I'm going to go in here and I'm going to watch TV. American Idol's on tonight. I'm going to watch that while you take care of yourself. See, that's not cool. That's not cool at all. Uh, now, something else. And I know before you say it, I know this goes both ways. But men hate it. They really, really, really hate it when they don't get their space. For some reason, men love their space. I, and we don't exactly know why all the times, but we just, whether it's to play Xbox or whether it's just to sit there, we need it and we love it. But we have to have our space so we can feel like a man. Now, and, and guys might not do anything with their space. They might just, they might surf porn. They, they might play games. They might work on their car. I mean, if you're into working on cars, I know nothing about cars. So I'm not going to work on my car. But men don't even realize themselves why they do it or why they need it. They just need to be alone. They just need to, to, to enjoy their acti activity so they can feel rejuvenated. So women, ladies, ladies, women, females, girls, listen to me. So if you ever find your man doing something by himself, you can ask him, you can, you can say, look, do you need some help? Do you need a little bit of company? Now, if he says, well, you know, I'm okay uh, doing this by myself. I'm okay being alone doing this. Well, if he says that, then just leave him alone. I mean, even if he's struggling, even if he's having the hardest time, like say he's, say he's trying to figure out something on the computer and you know exactly how to fix it. Let him struggle a little bit. Let him get through it. He needs this time so he can feel like he's a man. So, and this is, this, don't sit beside him and, and start to have a conversation. You start doing this, you're, gonna, you're just going to get a little bit closer to that annoying girlfriend territory. And that's not what you want to do. You, you want to be a good, supportive girlfriend, right? Right? All right. So Marion says she's from Egypt. Uh, well, Marion, I'm glad you, uh, you found time to join us. So uh, now are you, uh, should I talk in Arabic? Not, not that I could if I wanted to, but I'm just saying, uh, do you understand everything that I'm, should I talk slower? Because I, I know I tend to talk fast sometimes and I tend not to finish my whole sentence uh, before I start a new topic. And Miriam, that's one of the problems that I have and I, I do apologize. I, I'm sorry. And I am your friend. I have, I have lots of friends in the UK and I, I am your friend, Linda Chad, I promise. Now, I'm going to take a quick little break. We've got about 11 minutes left in the show, and I've got some other things we're going to bring up. We're going to talk about quiet time. We're going to talk about women flirting with other men. And we're going to talk about that question, you know, that, that big question. Do I look fat? We're going to bring that up. Uh, understanding a man's passions. See, I've got a lot of stuff that I'm going to have to try to work in here. This last 10 minutes. These 30 minute shows, they're killing me. They are. They're really killing me. But I'm, I'm trying as hard as I can. You know, <laughs> before I go to my break, I do want to say this. Uh, and this is in case I run out of time toward the end. 
I do not, nor will I ever take any of you for granted. There are a million things that you could be doing, but you chose to listen to me. That makes me feel really good. Now, let me do this real quick. If you have a show here on Spreaker, go ahead and type the word show into the chat. Give each other a follow. If you like the show, that's great. Um, continue to listen to it. But if you don't like it, that's okay too. Nobody's twisting your arm. Nobody's making you listen to anything. But at least, at least give them a chance. Give them, a, give them an opportunity. That's all we can ever ask for is a chance. That's all. The top broadcasting live to at least three people on Spreaker.com. Hey, Barber. Stalker guy here. I'm thinking I need to get a few things out in the open. You know how sometimes you walk by a window or a mirror and see a reflection, and you think you see somebody else in the background, but there was nobody there? Well, there was somebody there, and it was me. And if you're worried about monsters being on your bed, don't worry about that, because I'm there. And I can tell you I'm all alone. Except for your dryer lint that I have clutched so tightly my knuckles are white. And there was the time your car broke down and I showed up with the exact right part to fix it. That wasn't a coincidence. Gotta run. Time to call my parole officer. No worries. I'll call you right back. Holly Stalin's words cut like a double-edged sword. On the Edge with Holly Stalin, the fastest 30 minutes on Spreaker.com. Mr. Pop. Dorks of the world unite. No, okay, listen closely. It's not Woba, it's Waba. And I am the one and only Chris Top from the Chris Top program, taking that milk money back. One nickel at a time. All right, all right, all right. If you, if you just joined the show today, I'm talking about habits of annoying girlfriends. And, and maybe you're an annoying girlfriend, maybe you're not. Maybe you're the best girlfriend in the world. I don't know. Uh, but, I mean, there's a few things that we can let slide. But, I mean, if, if you do all of these things, then you, you have to stop immediately. You have to learn to understand that, that your guy does have passions. Now, to you, they might seem useless. They might even seem like they're on the verge of being silly. But to a man, it is his passion. It could be a car. It could be his bike. It could be guy time. It could be fishing. And guys despise it when their girlfriends just don't understand their passion. You know what? One of the worst things you can say to a guy if he's if he's into do it to, to to doing whatever, whether it's playing his games. What? When are you just gonna grow up, huh? When are you just when are you gonna get a life and just grow up? Guys hate hearing that. They do. And like I said earlier, this is their escape. This is their adrenaline rush. Why do you Why do you want to belittle what they're doing? Just let them have their fun. Just let them have their fun. So it's an annoying trait when a girlfriend just can't understand what her man loves and what he doesn't love. Right? Now what about this? Now when you, when you fell for the guy in the first place, there was a reason that you fell for him, right? So why does why do women like to try and change their guys? Why do they try to push them into being something or into doing something that they don't like or they don't want to do? I mean it's, it's great to try new things from time to time. It really is. And I get that. But don't try to change your guy. I mean, if your guy likes wearing blue jeans and t-shirts, then let him wear blue jeans and t-shirts. Don't try to make him wear a tie. More than likely, if he likes wearing blue jeans and t-shirts, he probably met you in the first place in blue jeans and a t-shirt. Men's at, men absolutely hate it when their girlfriends try to change them. You know what you do when, when you try to change your guy? What you're doing, you're, you're, you're actually pushing him away. You're pushing him further and further and further away. Why don't you try eating some more salads and don't eat so much meat? Why don't you do that? Will you watch Oprah Winfrey with me, please? Will you just watch Oprah and stop watching that, that car chase? 
You've seen that same car chase about a thousand times. Let's watch Oprah. Don't call his movie stupid. Why don't you watch a romantic movie? Lord of the Rings, that, that movie sucks. Don't do that. Don't be little stuff that he loves. You're going to push him away. You're going to put you're going to push him over a cliff is what you're going to do. Now. This one it, it can go to one extreme or the other. All right? You can be too clingy or you can be too independent. Now I know what you're thinking. Right now you're thinking, "Okay, Kristop, you're you're being a little too picky." You know, you, you, you're trying to have your cake and you're trying to eat it too. Well, what's wrong? See, I always hated that saying. I despise that saying. I mean, if you're going to go out and buy a freaking cake, or if you're going to make a freaking cake, why can't you just eat it too? What's the use? What, what sense does it make to have a cake if you can't eat the cake? Right? I'm right here. So, you can be too clingy. And you can be a little bit too independent. I mean, you've got some girls that that just want their boyfriends, whenever they're out in public, to 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 hold their hand, to to hang on to them the whole time. And 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 I've seen couples in public where the girl was holding the guy so tight her knuckles were white. That's uncalled for. You don't have to do. I mean, if, if you're walking through the mall, you don't have to hold hands. You don't have to hold hands the whole time. Your hands, your palms are going to get sweaty. Your back's going to get stiff. Okay, you're going to have to have a little bit of space. You're going to have to, to, to kind of hang out in your own bubble for a little while when you're walking through the mall. Now, if you're walking through the mall and then you're going to a movie, that's a little different. Say, so you pay to see a movie, you go in there and you sit down. Uh, there's nothing wrong with putting your hand on her knee. There's nothing wrong with holding hands while you're watching the movie. You don't have to be all up in each other's junk. You don't have to be all up in each other's face. I mean, there, there's a time and a place for everything. Now, the opposite, say you've got Miss Independent. Say she's always doing things and going places. And say she's going on some big business trip. She doesn't even call you before she leaves town for three days. Contrary to popular belief... We like to get phone calls from time to time, especially if you're going to be gone for three days. That would be one of those situations where it's probably okay to, um, to call your boyfriend. But you don't want to call him every five minutes. You don't, you don't have to be on the phone with him for hours and hours and hours at a time talking about every little thing that happens in your life. One extreme to the other. Why not? Why not have your cake... And eat it too. It's a simple question. Everybody deserves to eat their cake. Right? Am, I, am I right or am I wrong? I think I'm right here and I'm going to stand my ground. I am. Now I do want to thank everybody that listened to the show today. Mel, my good buddy from Down Under. We have Miriam that joined the chat. and She's from Egypt. And I figured Miriam was from the UK. And I, I just assumed that and I don't know why I assumed that until she said she was from Egypt. And, uh, Mario, maybe I'll learn some Arabic for you. I'm not sure. I'll give it a shot. And I will be looking for that dorky picture of you on the, on the, uh, the Chris Top Program Facebook fan page. And also, I want you guys to go to the fan page, and I want you to check this out. There's, there's rumors that the Chris Top Program could be changing their logo that they've had for a long, long time. And there's uh, an actual logo up on the page that uh, Kiss Kiss did for me. And I want to know what you guys think. I mean, is this... Would this be a good change? Would this be bad for the Christop program? I'd like to get your input on this. Uh, because it does concern you guys. You're going to have to look at it every day when you listen to the show. So, I mean, is this a good change or is this a bad thing? Should we leave well enough alone? I guess is what I'm saying. So let me know what you think on the Facebook page. Also, I'm looking for dorky pictures. And yes, we did say cake lived in chat radio. It's okay to have your cake and eat it too. And I think that should have been the theme of today's show. I do want to thank uh, Music Road Radio as well for stopping by. You guys are wonderful. You really are. I do not, like I said earlier, ever, ever take you for granted. Thank you so much for being here. Until I broadcast again, please remember this. 
Life is good. And I'm gone. You have been exposed to the Chris Top program. Tune in next, um... Uh, tune in next, uh... Yeah, I don't have a schedule. Right. <laughs>